Sunday. We uh, missed our Saturday night podcast again. <laughs> we got so late putting the kids to bed that by the time Ben was ready, I was falling asleep. She was, like, literally asleep. <laughs> so I said, we're not going to skip another week. We are going to do it Sunday night. So here we are, Sunday night. You have to do it before I fall asleep tonight. <laughs> And it is very, very windy outside right now. The wind is blowing, shaking the house. We are apparently experiencing a winter cyclone in Michigan. No, what do they call it? An ice a bomb cyclone. Bomb cyclone. <laughs> I think the Weather Channel <laughs> comes up with stuff just to make sure that we pay attention to them. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> bomb cyclone. Basically, we're expecting 50 mile an hour wind all night. And hopefully <laughs> our power stays on. Because unlike some people, we really aren't prepared to be without power. <laughs> that would be ex- that would be exciting. We do the Ben and Lauren show, and the lights all go out. Well, the weather's expected to go from. I think it was supposed to go from 36 to 24 in a couple of oh, hours. Wow. So that's a pretty big drop. And then we're getting snow, and the high wind, and we have this giant pine tree <laughs> right behind us. Yes, we do. There's a pine tree right. This could get to be a very exciting podcast. <laughs> Let's keep it boring. Okay. We don't need a pine tree going through our house. <laughs> we never have a pine tree going through our house. That's why our neighbor cut down all his beautiful big trees. Mm. He's obsessed with the idea that one of them was going to fall on his house. I miss those trees. but uh, He had four gigantic, like, 100-year-old maple trees, and he just chopped them all down and threw them away. Well, it's important to remember it's not our property. That's what we kept telling ourselves. I mean, we do things on our property that our neighbors might not totally be on board with, so we have to be okay with what our neighbor does with their own property. Those trees shaded our house pretty well in the summer. We didn't really put up much of a fuss with him. We didn't talk with him and try to convince him otherwise. Although when he was saying, doesn't it look so much better without those? We said, we miss the trees, Kyle. (laughs) Yeah, we do. (laughs) It would shade our house in the summertime. They're so beautiful. We have one maple that we're sort of, coaxing along actually we have we have two trees on our property that are not very good shape but we can't really stand to cut them down because we only have a few trees oh yes. that happened this week one of our trees is oh, a is yeah. a japanese cherry in the front yard and japanese cherries are the ones that grow along the uh, walk in washington dc that are so famous they have the pink petals they in the summertime the wind will blow and all the pink petals will fly everywhere yeah they're they're, they're a really beautiful roughly flower but ours because they're not really meant for rough winters we had a couple of hard winters and it really did serious damage and most of ours is dead I think it also got too much water. We had the sump pump that was draining. A couple of things happened to it, and it really took a bad hit. So I pruned it back. I pruned a lot of the dead wood two years ago, but the tree's in bad shape, and it lost a lot more wood. And this fall, we were looking at it. It's like the dead wood is actually beginning to grow mushrooms. We have this tree covered in mushrooms in our front yard. We're like, we got to take that tree down. And I was sad about it because it's such a beautiful tree, and here we're watching it dying in front of us, turning into a big, giant mushroom farm. <laughs> And we, we thought in our that, front yard. We thought the mushrooms were useless. Mm-hmm. And then we started, We a friend of ours suggested that um, he had been giving his son, who is immune compromised, um, turkey tail mushroom tea. Because apparently it's one of the best immune boosters known. And we saw a picture of a turkey tail mushroom. <laughs> it's like, that looks familiar. <laughs> and then... It, you know, it was a real snowy kind of day. He went outside with a knife and he actually cut mushrooms off and bring a bottom back inside. Got some nice good close-ups of it and we confirmed that they are in fact the medicinal mushroom. <laughs> we have a tree covered. Covered. And he's been searching his property for these mushrooms and he's got hundreds of trees. So we're going to wait till springtime and see if they get really big and we'll we may harvest do, them. We may do a turkey tail mushroom harvest. Hey, do we have those? You want to? I can grab it. Good morning, everybody. What you just saw was all that survived of last night's podcast. We um, had some technical difficulties with the earphones. We didn't have audio monitoring on, and we should have. And when Ben got up to get the mushrooms that he was going to show everybody, the audio went so out of sync with the video, it was painful to watch. (laughs) So we lost the last mm, about 15, 20 minutes of it, which kind of makes me sad because it takes a lot more effort to do these these days. Uh, we also had issues with Daniel crying, <laughs> so it was just a rough time to make a podcast. So I thought we'd post this up, 
um, because it was a little bit of a fun discussion. And we had something we really wanted to talk about. And we hadn't gotten to it. And we probably will try to do another podcast tonight. But since Daniel does appear to have a cold, we don't know who else might have it. And tonight might get rough. So we will find out how things go. And we'll try again. Um, and hopefully everybody has a very good day. And we'll talk again tonight. Bye.